nice mm-hmm. day here on the Gold Coast. Not super, super hot, but definitely high humidity as you would expect for this part of the world. There's the free defiant boom at the $7 quote there. Uh, for Stuart Pendrick, who trains out of the Sunshine Coast and comes here on the one week backup. And James Orman, of course, riding for Tony Dolan. They have just got a formidable partnership going at the moment and they would be looking to get mm-hmm. him into next Saturday's race. So it's the Gold Nugget, for the two year olds. This is the Colts and Geldings edition. The next race on the card at the Gold Coast for the Phillies. But fascinating stuff to see how this pans out and possibly reframe the market for the two year old classic. Mm-hmm. Hitch Manners. So Mashani Byrne goes for now. First of the feats mm-hmm. on South Wave Day. Yak was Gold Nugget. Set to run. Racing now, Defiant Boom clearly won the break. Spywire showing speed underneath. Cosmic Fire holding a fourth spot third and then Bellastier up to fourth. Two lengths away, Bo Dazzler and Mashani Bird. Into that first quarter now, 800 metres left to run. Spywire, he slipped through and held the lead and he shot clear by two lengths now on Defiant Boom. He's a little fired up the leader. Bellastier has got up the third spot, two and a half to three lengths away. Cosmic Fire off the bridle mm-hmm. early. Then follow Bo Dazzler, three back for Shani Byrne. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, it's a line of three at the bend. Spy Wire just from in the centre, Defiant Boom, and three out. Bellastier mm-hmm. really applying the pressure to the other two as they top the straight. Four lengths mm-hmm. away, Cosmic Fire, and then follow Bo Dazzler. Spy Wire in front below the 300 metres mark. He saw off that challenge. Trying hard in second to buy it, boom. Bo Dazzler running on very late. Spywire in front, 100 metres left to run. Three lengths clear. Bo Dazzler runs to second, but it's all Spywire. And off to next Saturday he goes. Bo- Spywire won it by three in the end of Bo Dazzler second and 30 to buy it, boom. Then followed by Cosmic Fire, Mashadi, Bird and Ballastia. Well, a few things to take out of that. So the dollar thirty quote absolutely justified there for Spywire. I know that the stable were keen to ride him with a bit more of a sit today, but it didn't pan out like that. And he didn't have it all his own way. He was challenged the majority of that race by others wanting the lead. He fended off those and he out sprinted them. And in the end, while Willow did of course ride him out with full vigour. He did it softly in the end, and I think there's plenty more on Oh, the I do too. I was sort of yelling at Willow to actually ride him out to the line, but I don't know how many times he actually gave him, you know, a reminder to say, find the line. That's a really good performance. I know the opposition were probably not as talented as what we have seen him face up against in Sydney, but as you mentioned, he was attacked from the top of the straight. He was continued to be attacked. And then you see Bo Dazzler finding the line strongly because he had a lovely run back in the field. You couldn't be any more impressive than that. I mean, I think he's going to definitely, the times he's running, he's going to be into contention of, to be winning a Magic Millions next week. It's been a really good formula this race. Six of the last 11 winners of a Magic Millions have backed up. So it's a proven formula that has won. Shakira was able to do it. And he's a horse that I think is definitely going to be going that way on Saturday. Bo Dazzle was off to give it the turn, and I was really good. They've been fought on really well there, so he might hit the next Saturday as well. But all honours with the shorty there in Spywire. It's a just long, it's race, race five.